Welcome to the solution program. You have successfully passed all the previous test rounds. This is now the last stage of testing. After successfully passing, you will be granted the great honor and responsibility of... Per this is test site Alpha 2. Here, we work on the latest space technology. We are currently testing the assembly and tuning of modular orbital stations. Now you will have the opportunity to try everything in practice. Our time is limited, so let's get started. Let's start by repeating the basics. you know the basics. It's time to start assembling the first modules. Let's take care of life support and power. It's the most important things. Build a small life support module and solar panels. Okay, I've just completed the module assembly. step is to install two devices, a battery and an emergency life support device, ELD. 
to provide one of the modules with heat and oxygen. with the next one. Good job. Now it's time to learn about the station power system. Connect the battery to the solar panels, and then the ELD to the battery. You can do this via connection mode. oxygen in the life support module, and it is very cold. Let's fix that. Fantastic. Now the final part. Some basic info about resources in space. Here, we prepared some demo samples. It is a very important thing, and one day it could save the life of an entire station. successfully completed the basic course. Now you are ready to explore the boundaries of deep space. The preparation for the first wave of colonization, which will be headed by Heraclids, is in full swing. Colonial deployment on the ship will begin shortly. Earth, the cradle of humanity, our common home. You gave us life, food, and technology. We have grown. We have built shining cities to the heavens. We have risen up to great heights and fallen down to the depths. And we have traversed the path of war and suffering. Now, all this can disappear, turn to dust. Disaster struck us 14 years ago. Space seemed to be turned inside out. A huge, luminous funnel appeared near the moon. It grew rapidly turning into a giant whirlpool. It was a wormhole. It radiated with the strongest gravity. 
Huge chunks began to break off from the moon. They slowly floated through space and disappeared in the center of the funnel. The moon lost some of its mass. A wave of cataclysms passed over the entire surface of the Earth. Giant waves flooded many coastal cities. Sleeping volcanoes awakened and earthquakes began. The gravity of the wormhole partially compensated for the loss of the moon's mass and everything gradually subsided. But the damage was incredible. Cities lay in ruins. The economies of entire countries were destroyed. As we began to heal wounds and rebuild our cities, humanity gradually came to its senses. We began to research the wormhole and learned a lot. But along with the knowledge came the terrible truth. Over time, the moon will be destroyed, and with it, life on Earth will disappear. Soon, dozens of automatic ships and satellites were sent into the wormhole. The best minds of mankind studied the data for months on end, and suddenly it turned out that this was a door to another world, to a world at the other end of the galaxy. Yes, it was hope to find a new home, start all over again. Who knows what awaited us there, beyond? Maybe this is a chance, a chance to become more than we are, a chance to get answers to our eternal questions. Who are we and where do we come from? And so we built a fleet, a great fleet, with millions of tons of metal shining in the sun and 2,000 hearts on board. We entered the wormhole and traveled through space. We were ready for what was next.